think. Welcome back. Would you sit down? Oh, fuck it, I have to. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. It's dark and angry. Like where where is Chloe? The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Yeah, something like that. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich? And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? But we'll see. Victoria, your picture is so has to win. Yeah, that would be Here we go. I'm trying not Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, in Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you, and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Uh, don't blame me? I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid, it's 
mean, hateful. Hate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Look at me. I got the judge of the contest suspended. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Mm. Not enemies. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Dark room. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug paid at that party so he could take her something to the dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds. But that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint. And I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Lockwell. Yeah, <laughs> sure. But cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. I think we actually did pretty well here. I'm... I was expecting a worse outcome. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I want to Taylor as well. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last vortex club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when the heat is around now. <laughs> He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look well, now I have a name for this episode at least. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us. Too. I'm happy we got to know Taylor. Let's 
son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? A bomb. Give me a break. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwall. Okay. Oh, good. Chloe's here. Oh, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the walk. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide in so, oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Are you both okay? You yeah. look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh huh. But I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole gate situation. Oh my God, Jefferson, are you drunk? Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. Yeah, yeah. I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost wrong. Get the hell out of here, Max. Check him out. Okay, okay. Everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, but I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. Oh. Please. And the winner is. Come on. Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Yeah, that's gonna have to happen in the next episode, I guess. This is a long episode. Like, um, uh, episode 4, that is. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Shit, he's there? In case you uh, don't know or haven't been following this theory so well, uh, basically I, I can't really go over 15 minutes because I have to use the PS4 share function as a backup. Because my car, my, 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 my capture card has been really iffy lately. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. So yeah, that is why um, we're calling it an end here for this episode. Welcome back to Life is Strange. We are. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Yeah. We're here to kill Nathan Prescott. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Oh, for God's 
sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. <laughs> die, okay? That was a reactionary rewind. He's setting us up, isn't he? He's setting us up to look maybe- <gasps> Oh shit. Shit. Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? What the fuck? What? 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 Huh? How is that? What does Jensen have to do with... How is he connected to the Prescotts? What does he and Nathan have to do with... Each other? What? Fuck! And Chloe! What? Well, um, we're now caught up with Life is Strange. Um, we will be seeing episode 5 at the end of October. I'm planning on playing it exactly when it's out and get the episodes going. Um, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna need to think on some stuff. What the hell?